Many of you have probably saw a situation where a hero just takes a walk past the enemy tier 2 tower and dies in the process. Well, today we're going to break down why, when and how. Let's begin. To better understand the benefits of tower suicides, it's best to look at how a support Abaddon is played. The reason why a support Abaddon is a strong laner is that he uses his Mist Coil, the short cooldown ability that damages both himself and the enemy, as a trading tool. Not only trading hits, but more importantly, trading resources. A level 1 Abaddon that casted 6 Mist Coils and denied himself with the last one has dealt at least 500 damage and forced the enemy to burn through their tangos, probably use a salve, and then spend precious early game gold on restocking their regeneration. What did that cost to Abaddon? 50 gold for a teleport back to the lane. And not only did he positively trade resources with the enemy, coming back to the lane with full health and mana, he now also can bring item pieces to his lane partner, acting as a free courier and freeing up the delivery of more important items to his middle lane. And this is it. Unfortunately, other heroes that would benefit from such trades do not have the deny mechanism, so they have to be inventive about their denies. So, let's talk when. Now, this is kind of dependent on the situation. Let's say you, a support, is now running low on mana after either trading or participating in a kill. What is the status of your carry? If he benefited from whatever trade you just performed and now has some free time to last hit uncontested, great, for a while you're not needed and you can take this extra time to deny yourself and come back to the lane fully refreshed. If, however, after the trade your carry is weakened or the enemy has salved back up, you shouldn't leave just yet and would have to use the salve and probably a mango yourself to efficiently protect your carry while either of you work on more region. Basically, as soon as a favorable trade happens that results in either a kill or the enemy playing more cautiously, that's when it's best time to literally kill yourself and come back refreshed. This is also sometimes useful in the middle lane after you've spent all resources to kill the opposing mid. But how do you do it correctly? One important thing that was adjusted during the last patch is that whichever enemy has hit you has essentially tagged you for 30 seconds, up from 20, and will gain a kill credit if you die to the enemy tower within that window. Now ideally, to prevent this, you'll want to avoid taking damage during trades. This might sound impossible, but it's actually very plausible. An Undying can just continue casting his DK unharmed, then waddle away to suicide without ever being hit during the last 30 seconds. Similar situation to Skywrath Mage. Just spend the last bits of your mana from safety of the trees, then deny yourself. Instead of feeding a particular hero your bounty, you've simply distributed very small pieces of gold across all 5 of the enemy heroes. Remember. If the kill feed sets something like 100 gold each, this means that each hero only gains a fifth of that, a 20. But it is not necessary to overthink how to most efficiently deny yourself. Even if a hero or two has tagged you and you've just spent all your resources, feel free to go for the walk anyway. After all, even if you give a hero something like 200 gold, you gave him no XP, you came back to the lane in mere seconds instead of walking back and forth, brought or carry his items, and whatever gold the enemy gained, he now has to spend back on regeneration. This strategy has its effective limit though. Not only is it over by the end of the laning phase, but it can be over even earlier than that. At level 6, a dying hero has a set 26 second respawn time up from 16 of level 5. At that point, dying to the tower is the same death penalty as dying to the neutrals, except the latter denies the gold bounty too. So, after laning phase or after level 6, either not dying or suiciding to neutrals is the right play. And this concludes today's topic. Thank you for watching. Good luck.